But when you look at this game from the Dallas Cowboys perspective, the thing you leave the field feeling is that you have the best quarterback in football right now, at least through game one, because he was better than Tom Brady. And Tom Brady was absolutely phenomenal. But Dak Prescott answered every single question that we had of him. Is the ankle healthy? Is the shoulder healthy? Think about Kellen Moore preparing for this game. The last time you saw the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense, they were making Patrick Mahomes run 500 yards before passing the ball, and he was throwing the ball parallel to the ground. He dropped back Dak Prescott 62 times, which is the most in his career. I mean, that was more drop backs than an elite yoga instructor, and he played <laughs> exceptionally well. The one interception was the C.D. Lamb drop. Yes, it was a drop on a dig route. And so when you think about Dak Prescott putting his team in position to win this game, Tom Brady doing what Tom Brady does, and that's why Tampa Bay won. But if you're Kellen Moore, if you're Mike McCarthy, you know that your quarterback is back, and you know that he's the best player on the team, if not the best player on the field last night. You know, Nick, we spent the last six weeks, you and I, talking about this injury to Dak. He didn't get a chance to get himself reacclimated. Everything working against him, up to and including the fact that the first time they get the ball, he's inside his own five-yard line. What do you say about the guts of that performance last night? He's my new favorite quarterback in the NFL right now. <laughs> Listen, I need to go to the nearest pro shop and get a number four jersey. I'm telling you, and I'll rock it because what he did last night for me was so impressive. I was at the local pub down the street all by myself. You know, I asked for one menu. They said, oh, by yourself? I said, yeah, by myself. <laughs> so I was in there screaming, Great throw. Great throw. Oh, good throw. And <laughs> he continued to impress me. He was making throw after throw after throw. And he was calm, collected, confident. And I had said previously that maybe the injury, I guess I was the only one crying after my injury when I got back <laughs> on the field because he went out there, didn't act like he had any injury whatsoever, didn't act like he didn't have any preseason reps, didn't act like he didn't take any snaps in the, in the camp training camp. And he went out there and performed through for 403 yards. MVP. Yeah, I mean, if you watch the Hard Knocks, you can now see why Trevon Diggs' son mixed him up with Patrick Mahomes, right? I mean, he was that good last night. Yeah, this is, yeah. you know, to RC's point, I, I, I get, there's a lot going on. First of all, next time call, I was just a block okay. away, okay. and we can we can hang out, but you don't have to be by yourself watching a game. But look, this is, everything they told us about Dak all training camp was true, right? We were like, oh, are they, are they, are they messing with us? Are they underplaying this? The shoulder looked good. The ankle looked good. He looked like he didn't miss a beat just the same quarterback we saw for the first five six weeks last year and the Cowboys have every reason to be excited about him. All right, Dak Prescott was a star in the National Football League before this game was played. Am I the only one who feels as though he was elevated last night Sam Acho oh. there was just something he took it to another level last night that candidly a lot of people might not have known he had. Yeah, well, there's like the, there's a physical toughness aspect that everyone understands. Can he come back from a leg injury, from a shoulder? But the mental toughness that Dak Prescott showed. I mean, there was a, there was an RPO, a zone read in the in the red zone where he got injured last time around, and he kept the ball, and that was bold. Like he made some bold moves, not to mention the throws that he made. Dak Prescott was everything that we expected and more. He was confident, he was calm, he was cool, and he made every single throw. And, and the fact that he was running the ball around after breaking a leg, I mean, like. What more do you want from your star quarterback? Yeah, it was, again, uh, if there are no moral victories, I will accept that. But anyone who tells me that Dak Prescott walked off that field last night, a loser is going to get an argument from me. In the meantime, RC, oh, by the way, Tom Brady was 32 of 50 for 379 yards and four touchdowns. Yeah. What do we take away with all the conversation here about could they have a perfect season? Could he have his best season? What did you see for game one? I mean, you saw Tom Brady be exactly who he's always been. He was calm, he was poised, he made every single throw that he needed to make and every single adjustment. I, I think back and I know bringing up this guy is going to make some people be like, oh, don't you ever compare Cam Newton to Tom Brady. But I think back to Cam Newton in the year that he won the MVP and they're playing the New York Giants and he has this towel around his head and the New York Giants score and Cam Newton has now become a gif or a gif or whatever you young people call it. He has this <laughs> towel on his head and he looks and he shakes his head like that. You talked about the look that Tom Brady had on his face. That's the look of I've done this a million times. I've been down. I've had to be in the two minute. I've come back from 28 to three. And look at all the folks I have to throw the football to. What was interesting to me about last night is coming into 
Tom Brady being a Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we talked a lot about Mike Evans. We talked a ton about Chris Godwin. When you watch Tom Brady play, when he needs a play, it is Chris Godwin some of the time, but it's a lot of Antonio Brown. It's a lot of Rob Gronkowski. You can see that he is ultimately comfortable with everyone that's on the field with him. And Tom Brady excelled. This team won't be 17-0. Dan won't be saying that Tom Brady's going to break the record, but Patrick Mahomes is going to lead in touchdowns. But this team will be playing for a Super Bowl once again. A different Dan, but yeah. I think we know what he meant. Uh, Rob, Rob yeah. Nikovic, th that's your old teammate, right? Yeah. In fact, both those guys, him and Gronk out there, and, and they do. They have found the fountain of youth. I mean, that man is 44 years old. He and Vinny Testaverde are now the only quarterbacks ever that age to win a single NFL game. He will have the record himself when they win their next one. What did you see from your old teammate? Same old Tom, 44 years old. I better get on the TB12 diet and start eating <laughs> avocados and all that stuff and hydrating my body weight in ounces, whatever that is. That'd be like five <laughs> gallons a day. But anyway, I just think that when you look at Tom, he still got it. He still can make every throw. He, he still has command of the offense. He has the respect of everybody around him. And I'm telling you, when, you, when you're a defender and you go against Tom Brady, you see him across the field, you go, dang, that's Tom Brady. And I've been against Peyton Manning, and I said, man, that's Peyton Manning. I've been against Aaron Rodgers. I said, man, that's Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady still has that. You know, Dan Graziano usually sends a lot of notes to our uh, email chain. Last night, you only sent one note <laughs> with three words, too <laughs> much time. They left him too much time. And, and yeah. that's all, I mean, that's all, you, he's looking at the clock. He said, all right, well, we need to get to this yard. It's all automatic because he's yeah. done it so long. RC's point on Cam Newton, I, I was at that game, I covered the Giants that year. That was Cam Newton operating an incredible level of confidence. He knew he was going to win the game no matter how many points the other team scored. That's Tom Brady, but it's confidence built over two decades. I mean, that, that's amazing. Yeah. I think the only thing Absolutely. he's upset about right now is that Rob Ninkovich picked Dak Prescott instead of him <laughs> to be his new favorite quarterback. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.